Hi, welcome to TLC's Creative Art Corner. I'm Miss Susan and today we're going to paint with rice. We're going to dye some rice and then we're going to paint with it and we're going to make paintings. Here's an example of one that I did over the week. Okay, it has, uh, but I also incorporated pasta from last week. So let me bring it up close so you can see what it looks like and what I all used in the various places. Okay, so here you can go around and see. Okay, I tried to do some, some different coral, the fish. And so you can see here, I'm gonna try to hold this. Okay, I used the yellow rice for the head of the fish. Oops, and I used some blue rice, okay, for the background, for the sea, and then white rice, just white rice for the, for the eyes. Okay, and then I used different oranges Different rice, uh, different pastas that I had dyed orange for the body. Okay, like for here's the, I'm dropping them all. Okay, so I use the long ones for the fins, uh, elbow macaroni for the scales, and then some of these short pieces here. And then I use these big ones, these big yellow ones, just to have some texture on the fish. Okay, and some small ones again. I use the spirally pieces to give the coral for the coral. And then for these rocks down here, I used a darker green that I put up and then some spirals again for coral coming out of it. And then I made it on the bag, so it hangs up very nicely. So that was one, one project that you can think about doing. It's very easy, but we'll do a very simple one today. Whoops. Now the other thing I did, I, um, we had the pasta last week, we dyed pasta. So here's a picture of what I did over the week to, to put the pastas together. And each one is a different pasta, not all, they're not all different, but you can lay them out in different ways, as you can see. Some of the red um, elbow macaroni for the array, I did la laid it down this way. So here's an example of it, when I mean, you can't see it, it's this elbow macaroni, and I laid it this way. And then the green down here, I did it this way. I laid it down, so here's the green, okay. And then for some of the other blues, I just did, did this for this one down here, it's this one. And then some green here, I used these different green ones, okay, which was the small, small shell and the uh, flower one. I, I keep calling it a flower, it's actually a bow, okay. So there's different yellows, different oranges, okay, different sizes and shapes. So you actually are doodling with noodles. So, but whatever noodles you have, if you did the whole thing in one type of noodle, that's perfectly fine because you can really be, uh, do variations because like this red one, I did this way of the, the elbow macaroni and this one is um, laid flat. So there's many things you can do. And I, I think even these little round ones here, you know, you can lay them flat, you can do them this way, you can do them out this way, you could even do them, you know, straight up and down like this if you wanted, straight up and down. Anyway, I, that's hard to see there. But anyway, that's what we have. So this is what we're gonna work at today. You know, so if you don't have rice, you can use your pasta and get the same effect. Hi, I'm back. Okay, now these are the materials we're gonna use. First of all, we need white rice, and it doesn't matter, it can be short grain rice or long grain rice. Whatever rice you have is the rice you use, that's the best rice. Okay, so there's our rice. And we're gonna use some wax paper. We're gonna use the same formula we used last week to dye the pasta, which is vinegar. You'll need some vinegar. You'll need food colorings. And I have six different shades here, which I was lucky to get. And a container to keep them in when we're done. You'll need a, a baggie to dye them in, like we had last time. Here are the colors. I already have them uh, done up, but we're gonna make some more. Here's the yellow. Okay, and the, they get very, very bright, vibrant colors because the, um, rice was white, whereas when we did the pasta, it has a yellow tinge to it, and that affected the coloring. So, and here's some nice red. It's a nice red. I don't want to lift them up too much. And this is a nice green. Here, I'll sort of show you. Nice green. And the blue, we have to make more blue because I used so much of it up. So that's the blue. And this, finally, we get a nice purple because of the white. Okay, there's the purple. Yeah, it's really a nice sensory thing to play with as well. I they put them in a lot of 
uh, put a lot of colors like in a big bin, bigger than this, and they have an indoor sandbox, as it were, and the kids can play with them and stuff. This is a little bit of water. You might need that, so I always have some on hand. We always need our little, little cloth. I'm wearing protective gear, the gloves, the apron, the table is all protected. And then we have the pipettes that we had last week to put in with the food coloring so you don't get it all over your hands. But if you don't, you can just pour it. I have a pair of tweezers for when we get into the art part of it, but I'll explain all that later. I just didn't want to forget to have the tweezers. And I think a teaspoon. A teaspoon measure will be fine. But if you want, you can do it by eye. Now, I made the brown rice. I made brown. And what I did is the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue together, and uh, varying amounts, and you can get a brown. So that's how I got a brown. And it'll substitute pretty much for a black as well. So that's what I did there. And so pause, go get your materials, and come on back, and we'll do this together. Welcome back. Now, I already measured out my rice. I'm going to do three colors. I'm going to do it, try to get a dark green. So I'm going to use vinegar and green here. And then I want to try to get a dark blue. So I'm using this darker, long grained rice that's a little bit darker than the white, as you can see. And I'm going to uh, just use the food coloring by itself. And then I'm going to try to get the same blue I have here. So I'm going to um, use the same recipe and use the white rice. So um, and I have my teaspoon. And I have my dyes ready to go with the um, pipettes in them. I'm going to do blue and green, like I said. And I forgot to mention, you can also add a little bit of essence because some people say that the vinegar smells. Of course, I don't smell. It doesn't smell like anything to me. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I've already cut up the, the wax paper that I'm going to uh, dry it on. I'm going to dye it in here, and then we'll put it on the wax paper. I have all my materials ready, and I've already measured out my rices. Now, I already labeled what it is I want to do. I want to do a green with vinegar, a dark blue only, and then another um, blue to try to match the, the blue I already have. So what we do, or what you do, is you take the vinegar, okay, and one teaspoon, that's what the directions say. Uh, it was uh, blue and hazel where I got this information as well, and another one called uh, the imaginationtree.com. And uh, anyway, you put one teaspoon in, and I'm just doing what they said, but I'm gonna add extra, they said about 15 drops, but I know I'm gonna add more because I want a darker green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, I'm gonna go for it, 19, 20, okay, I'm just gonna put a lot. No, that doesn't look too dark to me. Okay, all right. I really want it to be a rich, rich green, okay. Well, let's go with that. Okay, and then I add in my rice. This is a basically a half a cup, but they said you could use a cup. And then I want to get the air out of the bag, pretty much. And then you could give the, you know, put it in another bag for safety, you know, and then give it to a, um, a child to squish around for a while. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be the same, same green. It's like it's getting the dye everywhere. You want to get the color everywhere but it's not getting to be real dark, dark. Hmm. I'll just add more green and see what happens. And again, I, I sometimes think it's the, the, the green that you use, you know, the brand, could be the brand. I'm just adding lots. A little kid would love doing this, but again, I would put it in another bag uh, for added protection, because if it broke open, it would be all over the place. Okay, this looks like it's evenly colored, so I'm gonna let this sit while I go ahead and do the next color. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here to set. Okay, now this one, I wanna try to do a darker blue, so I'm just going to add, I'm just gonna do food color. Yeah, I'm just gonna do food color. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the rice in first, and this is a long grain rice. And it's the, uh, it has a, it's not quite white, it's a little off white, so it, maybe that will influence the color. So, um, okay. So put my, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to try not to do that. Okay. And I'm just going to put lots and lots of it in. I'm not even counting, I'm just putting it in and not diluting it. You could also use liquid watercolors, which probably means you could just, instead of vinegar, you could add water, a little, you know, a teaspoon of water instead. 
Oh, this is looking looking like it might be good. All right. Okay. I don't know how much I'm adding in. I'm just, you know, squirt, squirt. Okay. All right. Get the air out. Oh, this looks pretty dark at the moment. But then when you start squishing it around, it might change. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, it looks like it colors all right. You have enough liquid in there. Oh yeah, this looks like a dark, dark, dark blue. You wanna, oh, it's fun to squish it, squish. Yeah, you gotta be sure you get all the rice because here's some, some, some white still. Oh, it's really sensory feeling. Yeah. Oh yeah, this looks nice and dark. Okay, great, great. So I'll set that aside and let it soak up, and then we'll do the next one. Now this one I'm gonna just do the teaspoon of blue and the teaspoon of the vinegar, and we'll see what happens. If we can try to get the same blue color here that I had gotten once upon a time. Okay. Okay, we need to open this up. There we go. And if you end up with a little bit more than, than a teaspoon, it's okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna do my, measure my teaspoon rather than count. Okay, that's probably good enough. And again, you know, I don't know if this was the same brand that this one was, because I had to change bottles, I ran out. Okay. All right, we will, well, we shall see. All right, so then I put in my rice. Some people put the rice in first and then, then the, the dye. But I don't know, I kind of like it this way better. Okay. Get the air out, zip it up, and then start to move it around. Yeah, this is going to be a little slightly different color. Okay. And then they, all the sites that I did look at, the two that I mentioned, Imagination Tree and um, Blue and Hazel, they, they all said the measurements are just guesstimates, pretty much. and. Uh, you know, you're gonna find what works for you. Now, I don't have the same blue there, which is okay, not a problem. So I'm gonna have a different, different seaside if I was going to do, you know, sea. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes, not dry, but let it soak. Okay, so while that's soaking, get this out of the way, I'm going to take my piece of um, wax paper, which I've already cut, okay? So, for the first color, my my cloth. Okay. Now I'm going to take the green. Okay, there doesn't look to be any liquid in it. Okay, so I'm going to, if there were liquid in it, I would try to pour the liquid out into something, but there doesn't seem to be any liquid. It was all absorbed. So I'm going to pull it out. If we're going to do a lot of dyeing, you know, activities, you could save the bag, wash it out, and put it away for the next, you know, dyeing experiment you're going to do. There, get that all out. Okay, just the best you have. The problem is the little rice pieces are all over everywhere. Okay, and then you're gonna flatten it out, you know, and then we'll put it out in the, it's really sunny and hot here where I live, and there's no air conditioning in the hall, so it won't take but a few minutes to dry. So I'll get all the colors ready and I'll take them outside. Okay, so here's the one. So you would do that with the other two colors as well. But I put this dark blue, oh my goodness, it's really dark. Oh, it's dark, dark, dark but it's not black. But if you wanted to use it as a black color, I don't see why not. All right, so that's that one. I'm gonna just set this aside. And then we'll do the other blue, which is not like that blue, I don't know why. Okay, can you see this? Okay. This one's a little wet. Okay, so that was just the blue dye by itself. And this one has the vinegar. And I didn't put any essence in any of them, which, you know, it's okay. I, yeah, it's a different blue, but I probably added too much blue. It's okay, you know, it's it's not a problem. Yeah, I really think it's a different brand, because I know this is not the same brand that this particular one was. But again, it might have been I used too much. Just to be curious. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Okay. I do have one more rice. So I just want to, I'm curious, I want to see, and I'm going to try, oh, won't open. Go ahead with, this has already got some blue dye in it still, so. Okay, go 
ahead with one teaspoon. Now I'm gonna just do like maybe 10 drops. See if that does anything. One, two, three. Okay. There was already a little bit in the thing, so that's okay, in the teaspoon. Okay, so here I'm gonna try it again. I had already had it measured out, so why not use it? And get all the air out, and then your little helpers can go ahead and squish, squish, squish. Yeah, this is a lot lighter, but it's certainly not that intense blue, so I'm really going to say it's the, the brands. But, you know, you use what you have, and that's the best thing. The best thing. Maybe when you do the, exper uh, the project, you can add some white rice to it, and the two things will blend differently. Okay, okay I'm going to let this one sit a few minutes, and I'm going to take these outside to dry, and then we'll see what we can do to put the project together. All right, the colors are dried and I put them in their containers. So this was the dark blue, okay, that we just kept adding. Uh, we didn't have anything in it but, but the blue dye. And this is the um, blue we did with vinegar, just the, the regular amount, okay. And then this blue, uh, we just did light. We tried to do, it, you know, I think 10 drops or so with the vinegar, so it's a little bit lighter. And then the green, no matter how much green we added, it came out the same as the original green. You know, it came out exactly the same. So, yeah, I'm sure there's a secret to making it dark, but I didn't want to take the chance uh, at this time to do it. I need to practice that off camera. Anyway, here we go. And now we're going to talk about what we can do with these activities. One of them for sensory play is to put them all into a big like sandbox or just a uh, shoebox type thing or, or the different colors. And the kids can scoop it up and play with it and that sort of thing and weigh it, put it through funnels, things like this. But now we're going to make something. We're going to glue it for older kids. I don't know how, how younger kids would really deal with it. But anyway, I thought we would make an emoji. And what kind of, what kind of things do you need to do this first? You need white glue. I like the white glue that's thick. So, um, because you need to put a, a thick layer down for it to dry, especially when you're doing the pastas. So I have a white glue, or you can use any of these, you know, white glues, it doesn't matter. I have tweezers in case I get a color in where I don't want it, I can pick it out really easy because the fingers are a little bit bigger. And then I've decided that, oh, I, I put my glue into a little thing here, uh, a little container so that I can use my paintbrush with it a lot easier than keeping going to that. And then you'll need something to, to do your design on. I, I have this small little canvas panel, so I'm going to do a little emoji that I sort of sketched on there and made lots of mistakes, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it as I paint. And then, uh, or you can use a bag. You know, I talked about all those bags, all the, you know, using bags again. And you could like glue this together, glue the bag together. And so that it stays nice and stiff or iron it. But this is, I just found this the other day and I didn't do anything with it. And then you can do your design on it, except I would do it this on this side so that this is smooth. And you could do like your big initial, you know, and hang it on your door in your room. Or you could use a piece of cardboard. This is a, like a poster board, it's pretty heavy. You could also probably use the watercolor paper. It's nice and heavy. And then attach it, put it holes at the top with string to attach it. So let me get these out of the way. And I've decided what colors I want to use for this. Okay, I'm going to move these aside. I don't want to knock them over. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to do the background of this will be yellow. The whole background will be yellow. I'll do this eye blue because I really like this blue. So I'll do the one eye blue. And I'm going to use the red for the mouth on the outside. And then for the eyebrows and the shut eye, I will use the brown that I had made up. And then um, put white for the teeth and then the brown shadow inside the mouth. And then the last thing, of course, put the yellow. Okay, here we have it. Let me move these out of the way so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing I want to do, I've got my glue. I got my, took my thing off, my tweezers. Okay, I'm going to start up at the eyebrows with the brown, okay, and just paint, sort of dab it on thick, if you can see, I'm going to dab it sort of thick right in the area, and just, although that's blue, that's okay. Now I'm going to take my brown and put it on top. 
sort of dab it down so it sticks, hopefully. And then I can use the edge of this, if I don't like something, I can sort of move them into place. Some people like to paint the underground, the background first, but I, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I just, I like the white. The white shows through. It's more of a mosaic that way, and I like the idea of a mosaic appeal. Okay, and I can always come back with tweezers at another time and do that. Okay, well, okay now let me do the blue eye. And again, it's the same process. I'm going to put it on in that area. I like it thick. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. Okay, so that's the process, and I'm going to continue doing this, letting it dry, and then the background, I'm just going to put the yellow, so here's what it looks like so far. Okay, well here we are, we're all finished with our little emoji, I guess that's what they're called. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool, cute, I think. I put a little dot in the, in the middle of the eye, usually they don't have those, but that's okay. So this is uh, our project for this week, painting with rice or painting with rice in noodles, which would have been on, on this one. Yeah. And then our other one was just pasta. Okay. And the different types of colors of pastas. So there's many, many things you could do. So you could even do this whole thing with just rice or you can do a rainbow lots of people like to do rainbows and like i said you know initials and things like that so i really hope you enjoyed this project this week so please send us your creations to you can send them to me at m-a-e-b-e-a-t at yahoo.com or to the administrator at tlckuwait.com and if you really like it put you know one of those thumbs up give it a like and subscribe and uh, send us your suggestions or send me your suggestions of things you'd like to do and stuff. But I really, really want to see your creations. In fact, I'm going to do more of these and I'll show you next time. Yeah, because I just, I just have a fun with this. And like I said, it's a real nice sensory activity. It's calming and it's, it's colorful, that's for sure. And uh, I really, uh, yeah, it's imaginative. It sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. You can come back to it, go and come back, go and come back. So it's perfectly all right. So, okay, until next time, you have a really blessed week, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.